Your thumbnails suck. Your thumbnail is the first impression viewers get of your content, but many YouTubers fail to take full advantage of this optimization feature. In this video, you'll learn how to make a thumbnail for your YouTube videos without Photoshop so you can get more views and subscribers. Hi, Herman Drost here from DrostDesigns.com. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic leads and sales on autopilot, click the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you'll be notified whenever I have a new video. As you can see, Photoshop costs you $20.99 per month. It also has a steep learning curve. The free online graphics software called Canva allows you to quickly and easily create a thumbnail that will motivate a viewer to click on it. A great custom thumbnail makes all the difference when it comes to a viewer clicking through to your video or deciding to watch a different one. There are two ways to make YouTube thumbnails with Canva. Number one, use a template. Number two, create a custom design from scratch using custom dimensions. So let's choose a template and customize it. So I'm gonna click this YouTube thumbnail, 12 8 over 7 20. You can see you've got the different templates here. You can just substitute the image for your own image. Here's a simple one. Here you've got the uh, colored background behind the text. Here you've got the text that matches the shirt on the girl. Here you've got a colored overlay. Here you've got the image on the right and then a color background behind the text. Here you've got an image and then a, you've got a shape with the text on top. And here you've got a beautiful image that you can replace with your own and with the text on top. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just gonna use this particular template and we're get, gonna get rid of this eye makeup tutorial. So just click on that, click trash, click again, click trash. Then we replace the image with my own image. So I'm going to click Uploads. Maybe I'll use this fishing image here. Let's move it in here. Then I can also expand it if I wish. And then I just click on the text and then I can change it to a different font if I want. So I've got Oswald here, but I can change it to a different font like in the Western. And I can change the color. So I can change it to yellow, for instance. Then I just change the text. So I can highlight it, center align it, and I can even increase the text. Go down to 80, and I can just move it around as I wish. It's a e quick and easy way to create your own thumbnail just by using the templates on Canva. Number two, here's how to make a custom YouTube thumbnail using the custom dimensions on Canva. So click Use Custom Dimensions, 1920 by 1080. Click Design. So I've got a blank template here. I want to create an overlay background image. So I'm going to grab an image. Here's a beautiful lake. Just pull the corners to extend it to cover the whole area. I want to put an overlay on my image. So I'm going to go up to Elements, Shapes, and drag the shape over here. And I'll change it to a dark blue color. I'll extend the corners so the color covers the whole area. Then I'll click on translucent. I can adjust the translucent image. So I've got the blue overlay on my image. Next I want to grab an image of myself. So I click uploads, click this image and drag it out. You want your face to cover the whole right side of the image. Just be careful you don't cover up the bottom right because that's where the timestamp goes on your thumbnail image. I want to spice up the image a little bit, so just go to Filter, click Advanced Options. I just increase the saturation to about maybe 75. I can also vary the brightness a bit if I wish. And then I can sharpen up the image by moving the Blur tool but to the left. About 24 is fine. Next I want to create the text. So I'm going to click on the elements again. Click the square one. Bring it over here. And I adjust it. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to choose a red color so it kind of matches my t shirt. Then I'm going to duplicate this background. Just clicking on it. Click copy. So I have it here. So I'm going to move these a little bit, rotate it a bit. And for this one, I'm change the color to yellow. Rotate that a bit. I'm going to add my text. So I just click on text, click add heading, move that on the image. I'm going to change the color to white and maybe choose a different font like Nor'wester. And then I'll rotate it so it aligns with the background. I want to increase the font. 
So I'll go to say 104, just change the text. Then I can duplicate that text to add it to the yellow background. So I just click on it, click copy, move it down, rotate it, change the color to black, change the text. And here's my finished thumbnail. After you've completed the design of your custom thumbnail, click download and select PNG or JPEG. I select JPEG, click download. I just go to my video and I just change the image. I have an image here already, but just click change image and click get the click to. It's uploading the image. And here I've got my new image. Click save. Here's my customized thumbnail for this video. So you can see how it looks when it's really small and you can see how it looks when it's larger. And that's how you make a YouTube thumbnail without Photoshop. Here are three important things to keep in mind. Number one, your YouTube videos are always competing with other videos on the home page up next on the watch page, search results, and even subscription feeds. Number two, half of all channels and videos on YouTube get a click-through rate between 2% and 10%. Therefore, make sure your thumbnails stand out from your competitors' thumbnails so you can win the click. Number three, according to YouTube, you can increase the chance of YouTube suggesting your content by increasing your click-through rate and your video watch time. Click the link in the card to get my watch time optimization tips. If you want to rank in YouTube suggested videos, watch the next video and click the subscribe button to be notified of the next published video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.